Hello, this is Brian, bringing you episode 18 of Reusable Kerbal Space Program. You're joining me up here in orbit with the fairing separation of the next uh, major addition to the space station. Um, in this launch are actually two science labs. I wasn't sure if the MKS science lab did everything that the stock lab did, so I'm actually putting both of them into orbit. And if the MKS lab does everything the other one does, then I will probably repurpose the other one for another station somewhere else. Now, that's a lot of weight out on the end of a lightweight um, stick, so to speak. Those uh, other MKS components are pretty lightweight. And it's all attached via a docking node. So this thing definitely in danger of wobbling. And that's why I'm being very careful here throttling up. And you can see right away here it's starting to wobble a little bit. If I went to full throttle, this thing would become a sp wet spaghetti noodle in a big hurry. Now on this one I planned from the beginning to not try and get this thing anywhere close to the station as it is. Um, I will detach the uh, orbital transfer vehicle that I launched in the previous episode to come pick up this payload and bring it up to the station. It's looking pretty good. Let's release the payload. Actually, I guess it wasn't completely connected by docking nodes. Alright. Do some quick renaming there, which I skipped over. Then I'm going to detach the OTV and come get it. I need to thrust in that direction, so I'm going to move this thing aside here so I can get past the station. The payload should be coming up from below and behind. Okay, setting the can't quite get to the payload, it's too close to the booster. It always wants to target the booster, but they're so close, I think I just eventually set the booster as the target for now at least. Okay, I'm going to move the booster away from the payload. Alright, 
it's thrust in the direction of um, the payload. Oh, it's looking a little too close to that station. Better get out of the way. A little bit of emergency maneuvering here. Uh oh. Oh, just made it. <laughs> I think I. <laughs> oh man. I think those solar panels went right through my exhaust blast. Well, I cut off the I cut off the thrust right as I passed it, but still, way too close for comfort. And that emergency burn lowered my periops there um, to below, um, below the atmosphere. So I wanted to fix it here real quick. So I'm just burning prograde and watching my numbers there increase. Okay. All right. So now we're going to skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, I do my home and transfer down to the other orbit. And right here, I'm <coughs> because of that emergency burn, everything got all screwed up. So I had to. I used um, mech jab here to fine-tune the closest approach to target. Make that a little bit easier on me. Next one should be matching the velocity with the target. We're in the dark, so I'm going to go ahead and deploy the lights. What's it docking with that? A little bit of crazy chaotic maneuvering. Okay, switch to chase view. 400 meters away, just gonna thrust right towards it. Trying to target the correct port at this point, but it's kind of difficult with the the way things are. Uh, the frame rate is you know crunching. So one thing you can do is you can zoom way out and spin yourself around so you can see your target uh, fairly close up, and then try and target the port. There we go. Now I got it. And by the way, if you look at my nav ball, I now have a new mod installed. Um, shoot, I should have looked up the name of it before I started doing this voiceover, but um, gives you the lining up. Um, you know, tells you where to put your nose uh, to be lined up with the um, the port there. So if I put the nose right on the red circle, now I'm pointed in the right direction, and I need to just translate the aircraft over or spaceship over to so that my yellow velocity vector lines up on the pink and then I w that means I'm coming straight in and my nose is pointed at the, the correct location. 
which makes this docking pretty straightforward. That's a great mod. I highly recommend it because it takes up almost no screen real estate. Okay, now we're going to do a transfer back up to the station. Now the docking node that's going to connect to the station is the one that we're looking at right there, uh, pointing away from Kerbin, uh, in between the science modules and the OTV ship. Honestly, I'm trying to remember what burn that was. I might have um, realized I couldn't do a straight home and transfer back and maybe had to boost my orbit up and uh, kind of, you know, do another transfer later down um, to let the station catch up. Uh, it's been about a week since I filmed this, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, this is the important part here. Coming into dock, and right now I'm pretty nervous because I've got 17.7... Uh, meters per second of delta V left in those RCS. This payload's fairly heavy, and I'm th right now I'm realizing that this OTV probably does not have enough RCS fuel for this kind of work. And this is particularly messy because the port I'm attaching is 
facing 90 degrees away from the direction I'm headed pretty much so if I switch to that port I may have try, I may try it here in a minute um, then you can't see you know your vectors so it's all messed up um, so I think I had to eyeball this one I don't know, maybe I used it the last second. I'm not sure. It looks like I'm lined up pretty well right now, and I'm on that red marker. But I can't see my velocity vector, which is disturbing. I'm just trying really hard not to overthrust. Just take it real slow. If I overthrust, I will completely fail. I'll have to somehow refuel the ship and try again. It'd be a major hassle. Right. I switched the control from here so that I could get a look at my velocity vector. Now I'm lining that vector back up with the target. And I'm down at 12 meters per second delta V. This is definitely one of the most <coughs> technically challenging dockings I've ever done. I did have one that was more sketchy where I literally ran out of RCS about a meter away from the port and I still connected because I you know, had it lined up pretty well. That was a long, long time ago before I was uh, ever shooting these videos. don't want to bump it either. Down to 7 meters per second on the RCS. And I'm not really lined up too well here. go. Get some thrust to the right going. Okay, go, go magnetism. Come on. Pull me in there. Down to six meters per second. wondering if the magnetism was broken there, so I'm kind of resetting things. Unset, reset target. Not that that should matter, but getting nervous here at this point. There we 
There we go. And connected with, I think, 2.8 meters per second to go on the RCS fuel. Cutting it way too close. Yeah, that was one of the one of the more happy quick saves I've done. Lock the game into this state. All right, so <clears throat> at some point I'll detach those two science uh, modules. They are destined to go. Not sticking out like that, but um, sticking out from those two uh, side modules, one on either side. So as you come down the main corridor of the station, you would turn a corner, and then from there you could go left to one or right to the other. but I'll save that rearrangement for another episode. All right, now back to the booster landing. Apparently I'm a little insane, and Sandy is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. And yes, again, I overshot. I keep putting that trajectory's uh, crosshairs a little bit too far away and expecting that um, it will either move or that I will be low enough to pop my chutes and use that to uh, increase my um, <coughs> rate of descent, inc increase the uh, uh, steeper, make a steeper descent, is what I'm trying to say. And so, yeah, here I am. Like, what was that? 30 kilometers away or something. Horrible landing. But still get to recover it, so I guess that's all good. I think the score now is, I don't know, Kraken 5 and me about, I don't know, 15 or so on these landings, so I'm doing pretty good. That's it for this episode. I'm going to have to develop some kind of a monopropellant tug for that station that's much more maneuverable and has a lot more monopropellant in it. Probably launch that in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.